Okay, we're recording. So I will call the meeting's order for the Wallingford ARPA committee uh, application review. Um, my name is Mike Lydon, I'm the vice chair. With me is Chris Reagan and Jackie McNamee. Um, I'd like you all to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance first. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. So we're going to go through the applications, um, reviewing, we have a little discussion, we, we have a scoring sheet. All of you are not-for-profit organizations that are here tonight. Um, if you're not aware, there's a criteria um, that the town council developed for not-for-profit program proposals and also for not-for-profit assistance. You need a, a score average amongst the three of us of 75 or higher for the award of the grant. And we are just an advisory opinion. The council has the ult the final say on whether the grants are uh, awarded or not. Um, I know we have an agenda. We have a, a schedule of everyone here, but I just want to just go over if anyone's here first, just to, in fairness to those of you who came first thing at 630. Is anyone here for Beth Israel Synagogue? Okay. Scow? Yalesville, Italy? Excellent. Girls Softball? Wallingford Land Trust? Community, Wallingford Community Theater. I don't see Maria. Oh, there's Land Trust. Hello. Hi. Uh, Church in Nazareth. <clears throat> Raj went downstairs. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna follow the agenda. We'll start off with Beth Israel Synagogue. Um you know, do you I didn't sign any any reviews to each of us because it's only three of us who take take turns. Does anyone want to take the stab at the first one? Jackie. Sure. Um, I reviewed the application. Um, it's very thorough. Um, basically, they're asking for um, for money to um, maintain the safety of their church. Um, and I, I even have seen it too. All of the uh, it's been public publicized in the um, TV and the media regarding some of the threats that have um, occurred within some of the synagogues. Um, their application, they are asking for, hold on one second, a total amount of $158,000. Um, and their application is very thorough um, regarding sur surveillance, cameras, monitoring, um, fencing, sidewalk, security guard, um, safety room as recommended by the Homeland Security. Um, and they they do have um, all, an itemized list of the costs, so it's very detailed. Um, they based upon their tax returns, um, they have shown a um, a loss from 1920. And sorry, their application is really long. So wait a minute. Um, so they have shown a loss in the 1920, 21, and 22. Um, so to me, their application um, meets the criteria for ARPA and what they're requesting for, you know, maintains the safety and well-being of their members. So for me, I, I scored it high. Chris, do you have anything to add to that? The question I have is that, and I don't know that we have the answer for, is the request uh, includes monies for the DHS consultant. And then I see a summary report from the DHS security review. Wondering if that was something that was already paid for, in which case it wouldn't be eligible for funds. Gotcha. Um, but I, in lack of other information uh, on it. Um, it's still plausible that you would still have a consultant who would see through um, the correct implementation, installation of the equipment, the systems, et cetera. Um, you know, putting the DHS uh, consultant issue aside um, definitely has a COVID impact, definitely has a reduction from a financial standpoint, definitely has a need based on current uh, homeland security and and uh, uh, just campaigns and, and news and, and stuff for that. So um, I don't have a problem 
with this. It's just that, uh, you know, if it's retroactive, and I guess it's something that Janice can yes. figure mm -hmm. out. Um, but there's a very thorough request, so I would recommend it for funding. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming we're going to use the program proposal scoring sheet. So just for, for education purpose, for people in the audience that, to understand what we're doing, there are four or three areas of which your applications are reviewed. The first is the required pro proposed project will demonstrate address the negative economic or health impacts due to COVID-19 pandemic. Then there's a 50 point section of which the purpose program detailed goals and expected outcomes are clearly described and the program addresses clearly demonstrated need for those in Wallingford who were or are impacted by the pandemic and the applicant has demonstrated the experience needed to run the program. Um, that's 50 points. Next section is 25 point section. The proposed budget is appropriate for the request supported by documentation and any, and any additional funding needed has been secured or a high percentage of the requested funds are being used for direct costs. Program costs compared with number of people have served are appropriate. Lastly, for 25 points, is the program ready to be implemented? If not, is the timeline reasonable? And will the program be completed before October 31st, 2024? So with that being said, I think I agree with both of you. It's a very complete application. It seems they did their homework. The fact that I, I agree, Chris, your concern on the consultant. However, I also look at the kind of complexity of the of the activities they're proposing here, where it, it, at least it looks like there's appropriate guidance that's being thought into this to these uh, activities. So uh, I too uh, see this as a pass. But with that one concern that that maybe Janice needs to look into whether you know it, the reimbursement if that money's been spent would that be subtracted from the 158. But saying that, um, if you want to, three of us hand in our scores, or I don't know what memorialize the scores. You don't want to just use the same and we're not going through the whole tally process. We're no, I mean, that. we have a 7590, and I'll throw you up right now because I mean, it's on average 75, 275s and a, and a 90, so passes. Um, up, I'll give the actual raw score just in fairness to the other in case we have something that does not pass tonight. It's an average score of an 80, so it passes. So we have a motion. I have a motion to recommend uh, approval to the town council on behalf of Beth Israel Synagogue's application in a total of 158, 148. 158, 148. Second. <laughs> okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we'll be sending a positive referral to the council. <clears throat> They'll get a probably email from me tomorrow, but you know that then it goes into the council's docket. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you for coming tonight. Nicole, you're welcome to stay. It gets extremely boring if it's not your turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're under no obligation to stay, but you're welcome to do so. Bye, bye. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, so we're on to scow. Sure, I'll take a uh, very thorough application um, as far as it's a professionally written grant as far as, uh, as, I'm, as I'm concerned uh, with every exact exact cost down to the penny provided. Scout provides a necessary and meaningful um, program. Uh, for the community uh, that is very much underserved um, uh, by the town in general, as far as my opinion is concerned. Uh, the request is for $226,603. Uh, not going to go into the detail, it's very much uh, listed out uh, as far as uh, 
what's needed for uh, salaries and wages, what's needed for transportation, including the purchase of an additional vehicle, um, professional services and outside vendors. Um, there is a 10% overhead allocation to their costs, um, uh, which is, um, uh, we haven't seen that before as part of our allocations and typically those would not be approved outright, but because we have to itemize each of the, the applicant will have to itemize each of the individual per, uh, purchases, et cetera, um, the actual dollar amount funded will be close, will be no more than the 226603 with overhead not being included as, as part of it. So, um, you know, but for uh, for everything else, um, you know, I uh, I recommend this for probably the highest score that I'll get. Uh, we doing program or I'm sorry, it is pro program. I believe all of them are programs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's the our moving our community forward program will right. benefit from this, which, as Chris said, it, you know, it, it serves an underserved community that's economically challenged that definitely has been a vulnerable population. I don't think we really need to go in a lot of detail on that. This is one of those ones that's a kind of a no-brainer. This is providing a much serving needed a, a much needed yes. service to a vulnerable population, which really clicks all the boxes when it comes to yeah. uh the intent of ARPA. Thorough financials, thorough, thorough everything. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, as far as we get so All right, two nineties and a hundred, so ninety-five is the average. So do I have a motion to make a favorable recommendation for the amount of Here, it. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to fund Dow's application not to exceed two hundred and twenty-six thousand six hundred and three dollars and fifty-two cents. Uh, make the recommendation to approve it to the town council. Second. Okay. Uh, this, no discussion on this. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We move on. Thank you. We try to keep it painless for everyone. So, Yalesville, Italy, you are up, no pun intended. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> All right. Give me a second. I'll pull that up. I'll take a stab at this one. I think, you know, this is now what the third no yeah this will be our third um uh youth youth yes. league that has come before us uh requesting funds and so we know what their mission is i mean we don't have to talk that the fact that you know this provides an outlet for youth and and that's a vulnerable population um we know that they took a hit you could see by what came in? They're looking for. Well, they say it's a quote between ten, twelve, and fifteen thousand dollars. They're putting a total cost for the project as fifteen thousand. Um, they're requesting funds to replace the awning, um, and the awning provides shade for the players, parents, etc. Um, it's pretty. It, it's also used not only just for while they're at games, but parties, meetings, et cetera. Um, I actually would, I think this is our only one that's the outliner really that's not a program. This is more of a need. Would you agree, Chris, on that? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's- It's not the final hardship. That's the only thing I'm struggling with with that. So program wise and looking for dollars matching it up with quotes and final dollar amount as a program to get it installed by such and such a date. Um, well, so 
let's open it up for a conversation. Mm. I just wanna... and, and I think this may dictate which way we end up going with this. Where are the fields? Who owns them? And the actual stand that needs the awning is a property of who? We wish we can ask the question. It's, it's not. So, so hypothetically here, if we do it based on a program, then it's funding something that the town should fund anyway. Mm -hmm. And it'll take how many ever budget cycles and how many ever years to actually get it done where it's a need that's, that's necessary for that. Mm -hmm. If we do this as a hardship, uh, request, then we can fund the approximate dollar amount associated with it without the need for quotes, correct? Correct. And I was thinking because Wallingford Little League, when they applied, remember they did a similar sort of project. We it was the same questions. We had the same years. question we struggled with, and I think we scored that as a need. And we looked at it, the fact that the declining, you know, the fact that no one was right, maintaining it. I mean, yep. Yeah. Isn't Yalesville? Um, it's behind Parker Park Farms. Parks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it a board of head? Fun. That's a whole other problem. But I guess in order for us to get this approved, it's a valuable service mm -hmm. to, to, to the youth of, the, of, uh, of Yalesville and beyond. Um, I'm okay with doing it as a hardship to get the money in the hand. Okay. So, so then just just for your pro, you're the you're the, the applicant. We're going to give a little different speech to. Mm -hmm. You're the criteria we're using for your application. Please, do you have do you have a need? Yeah. Um, the first section is a thirty point degree of which the not profit provides service to Wallingford residents, the not profit's members, and others. You know why? Um, 55 points in the next section, the degree of which the not-for-profit's ability to provide the service has been impaired by the result of the pandemic, the degree of which the project will assist the nonprofit for restoring the ability to provide service to those. That's a 55-point uh, section. The last one is the, the degree of which the budget is appropriate, supported by documentation and timeline completed within 12 months. Um, looking at that, and maybe... Like I said, I could see it favorable with that with the need. Um, it's an awning. It's going to take. I think they even gave an estimate, just not not a long time to install this awning. Um, I pass it on an on an assistance request. Okay. Full amount. Full amount of fifteen thousand dollars. All right, so 75 and 280s. So that's going to be a test my math right now. Yeah, uh, I was going to go between 77 and 78. Oh, she and math, please. 78.3. This is where I say, come on, Mr. Perez, you can help me. No, 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 no. Yeah, seven eight point three. So that passes. So do I have a motion to award the grant to Yalesville Little League if it, if it the amount to fifteen thousand dollars? Yes. Or to recommend. Okay, right, Jack. Oh, okay. Jack is switching it up. <laughs> oh, make the motion. Oh, I'm not making the motion. Sure. I'm just said so. Make the motion to uh, suggest to the town council that the Yalesville Little League application in the amount of $15,000 uh, be approved. I'll second that so I get my name on the agenda. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
All right. Thank you. And next up is Wallingford Girls Softball. Let me take this one because this one, um, again, uh, like the little, little League and uh, 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 various sections of the town, Wallingford for Girls Softball League provides uh, youth uh, softball, which is uh, actually uh, I know a number of the coaches, et cetera, and uh, it's a it's a high quality program. Um, we're looking for they are looking for funding to improve the Gaylord fields mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, clay glass uh, grass and improvements in the. Uh, Amount of twenty thousand dollars spent in repairs and driveway parking lot of repairs of ten thousand for a total of a thirty-five thousand dollar ask. Uh, based on that, I have the same questions regarding the location, the approval to do such work. Should it be part of the Gaylord application? Should we do it as a program or should this also be considered as a hardship uh, or a, a funding one? It's the, it's the same mm. type of um, the same type of thing. Is there, for instance, I would have liked to see we to see something like we have a 10-year agreement to play a little bit to play more, you know, long for girls softball at this location, you know, therefore but, those leasehold improvements or whatever else. Yeah, there, there is an agreement in place. I don't know the, the duration of this at the point um, with Gaylord. Those were built, Gaylord donated it to the, yeah. this was after member, um, the town did the improvements to Pregman yeah. to do all the softball fields. And then this is the slow pitch league. The slow pitch league then, you know, it, it, the Pregman setup is just not conducive. So they moved up there. The fast pitch league is now down at Pregman. Um, and this was donated to the, the slow pitch league by um, Yale's, I mean, uh, by Gaylord. It's a, it's a long-term agreement that they have with Gaylord. And I, I just know that from years in town here. So I would support it if we added the qualifier that legal needed to validate that Waller for Girls Softball League does in fact have the um, permission, the agreement permission to to, to have that uh, to have these improvements done separate from the Gaylord application. Basically, it's a an authorization authorization letter from the landlord. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because we don't want to we don't want to fund an activity then find out that the landlord doesn't right. want the yeah, tenant absolutely. to do that. So, or suddenly starts charging them for these because yeah, right. Yeah. We don't want to open Pandora's box for no reason. But and otherwise, from from a from a need or uh, an assistance request, it, it makes sense. I mean, there was a need, like I said, not to repeat myself for the third time on the youth youth uh, leagues. Yeah. So, an agreement for program or for hardship. I actually wasn't scored as hardship. Do you want to see? You, you no, know, I think the scores are going to be similar. Okay. You want another one? Somewhere. I printed it, printed up a bunch. And this was for the amount of 30,000, I believe. 35,000. Eighties and an eighty-five. Oh, sorry. Eight, I was going to get an eighty-nine. I was like, yeah. two eighties and an eighty-five. Yep. Yeah. 
So I'd like to make a motion to suggest to the town council we fund Wallingford Girls Softball League request for $35,000 in with the uh, contingent that uh, there is an agreement in place for um, or that is verified for the use of uh, of that land uh, by Gaylord to the association. Okay, well, I don't know what I did. 81 points. I was just checking your math. I wasn't going to call you out. I was just going to write it. Thank you. Second <laughs> book. I signed up. When I said that, I was like, that's not right. I said, you wish in grad too? No. <laughs> you struggle too. I can't math. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so I'll try to be serious now. Um, we have a motion second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're off. So thank you, Grill Softball. We're moving on. Land Trust. So thank you for playing the break. Do we need a break? Thank you. What's funny is Raj, Raj is going to think we're still going hardcore up here and he's going to. Hold on, let's find it. Of course, I'm scrolling up, scrolling up and down. It's the last one. So I do. If you, yeah, if you want, I'm just. So the Wallingford Land Trust provides public use of the trail systems. Um, provides. Uh, construction, beautification, uh, maintenance, et cetera, um, that preserve um, from, from the uh, natural habitat and scenic, uh, and scenic pieces. This request specifically is for $20,000 uh, for construction of uh, bridges, pickle tables, trail benches, uh, as well as some um, erosion control and uh, Wood kiosks uh, in the total of twenty thousand dollars of a twenty one thousand dollars seven hundred fifty uh, overall project. Um, I think this falls right into the line of um, the spirit of ARPA. I don't think there's any question from my uh, standpoint of the need for an organization such as this uh, to continue to do in. It's good work and acquire more land um, as much as possible in order to keep the uh, the, uh, the greenery and the land uh, pristine as uh, nature intended. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to suggest the program application, um, and uh, it's a it's a high pass for me. The only caveat that I would suggest putting on this one is the, that that. Um, they need to secure any wetland permits for the bridges from the Inland Wetlands Agency prior to the issuance of any funds, because it, it is still subject to a, a regulatory review by the, the agency. Cool. Sorry, I put my regulator hat on my day job. So, but other than that, yeah, I agree with you on all aspects. You're right. It's an asset to our town. Absolutely. It's pretty straightforward. I'll do the second this one. As opposed to what? Yes. Checking the Checking the Two 90s and an 80. Eighty-six point six. All right. Um I'm going to make a motion to suggest to the town council on behalf of Wallingford, on behalf of the committee, that we approve the Wallingford Land Trust application for funding in the amount of $20,000 contingent on um, all uh, construction and placement of, uh, of items being supported. Uh, and approved by the Amon Wetlands Committee. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. All right. Congratulations. We'll move on. Mary Ellen, you're up. It is Wallingford Community Theater. So, um, obviously, the community theater provides a service to the town, and unfortunately, it was one of those areas just like we uh, experienced with the uh, sympathy that they had to shut down, and this took kind of kind of hit at some of their uh, activities. Um, they are looking for funds to reinstate some of their events. Um, and they are partnering with other organizations such as schools, SCOW, et cetera. Um, their total cost that they're looking for, for two full-scale productions, it's $57,000. And then outreach program uh, for youth and children, 2000 is it 20000 I'm sorry, no, $2,000. Uh, uh, with a total cost of outreach actually of $4,000. Some money for park and rec at eight thousand dollars. We're bringing a grand total to ninety. Oh, actually no. Sorry, that's all the other funds. They're just going for fifty thousand total. It's confusing because it has all the numbers. But don't worry. Um, like I said, this is an organization. It it, it provides family friendly events. Um, it definitely, I would say it's a it's a program request. Um, a pretty high, high uh, program request in my, in my mind. Um, and like I said, it's, it's demonstrated the fact that from an organization standpoint, they had to shut down and they're trying to get back to where they were pre-2020. Does anyone else have any other comments you want to add to that? Again, another asset to our community and it's great for families and children and they do a great job and they bring in lots of other community supports. So it's a high pass for me. Just one other thing. I mean, they really did. You you look at the budget too. I mean, the budget on page three of the online application. It's it's thorough. It breaks down what's that fifty thousand. What are we getting out of those fifty thousand dollars? I think it was very. Um, someone put actually effort and thought into it, and, and it's it's reflected in that. So. So we're not as entertaining as the, the town town council right now. Did anyone hear this? I down down uh, there. Did someone like text someone down there and tell them tone it down? I can't hear myself scoring. Yeah. I know we're not supposed to ask you questions or we're not supposed to have a conversation. <laughs> uh 90, 95. And give me a second, I gotta. Eighty five for me. So it passes easily. Ninety. Yep. So I'd like to make the motion that non effective men, the Wallingford Community Theater be. Funded, I'd be recommended to the council for funding in the amount of fifty thousand dollars. Second. We're taking turns. <laughs> okay, all those in favor? Aye. All right. Motion passes. All right. Um. You know, you know that like Maria will probably walk in at seven thirty. Yeah, should we do the other one first? Well, but, it's well, if they're kind of together. That's the oh, difficulty right. with these two applications. To help you. So this, this the fund meeting. Arpa. Yeah. Yes. Did you already do the other one? Yeah. Yep, you got it. Positive referral. Sorry, we're trying to get things done. <laughs> <laughs> Many things that would be great to have, but thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you want to do you want to wait for Maria? Let me text her. Sure. Yeah. 
Could you text her? Tell her that she's being, we're, we're going to review it if she would like to be part of it. In the meantime, um, while we just wait on that, um, I had the memo that was shared with me from Janice Small. This is basically our, what, what we're left off with doing. Um, for not for profits, we only have eight remaining applications. And then the business is a moving target. But she said there may be some added to it of the 33 that we're going in, that we have. So I was thinking of our next meeting doing eight not for profits that are remaining. And then we just probably maybe three meetings, let's say, to, to finish the businesses if you're okay. Yeah. I know, Chris, you sent me your like availability. Yeah, you sent me your availability in the next two weeks. If you can do that. Just going away. Unacceptable. Next week, but only for a few days. Okay. Yes, I'll send you my. You're on the 16th or no? I. Um, I am. I just have rotary until six, but we meet at six. So we'll so, yeah, so let's fine. let's do the rest of the nonprofits on the six. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll file that agenda tomorrow. Can't be the eight. I'll be away the eight. Um, what is? Let me get into my schedule. Uh, yeah, seventeenth. I have a P and Z meeting. Um, twenty second. I have P and Z. The twenty, like the twenty third, is open for me right now. I got to do without lighting. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just the three of us. If we want to make it a hybrid, I you mean, know, a, a remote meeting, we can do that. Oh, they, could be online. they can come online. Okay. Okay. So I'll just do 16, 23, and 30. Yeah. Sure. How many do you think you want to go? We can do on the business ones. Um, do we want to randomize them? Do we want to just go? I, I say just, just pick them right off the list. If we want to randomize them, we can, but you know, let's just pick them off rather they're than. Kind of, if we go from this list, they're kind of randomized, anyways, right? Yeah. So just, I mean, they're alphabetical. Oh, sorry, I didn't look at it. But but the other thing too is you know I, the thing I disagree with the randomization is that the, the the full amount is available for everyone. It should that there be a positive. So there's no one person needs to get through the door first. Right. So. Um, how many do you think we can get through on the business, the not for profits? So, okay. we have eight left for not for profits. And out of the eight, I'm trying to remember, one is a pretty large application. Well, and I was going to say, Daylords. That's, I um, think that's a bigger council conversation. Right? Yes, it is. And, and I don't think. Should just not in the yeah. end. I, agree. I mean, regardless of what we say. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. you guys are doing okay. Thank you, Scott. You know, you, <laughs> you so know I that. think Gaylord's too much. I mean, Gaylord dollar amount needs council scrutiny. Let's leave it at that. I agree. I agree with that statement. And, and I think that that may be something we just, maybe we just, I don't know. I, let's, let's do this. Because we only have eight not for profits. We do the not for profits and let's just commit that obviously we can, if we this is the same that we go through the agenda of the next meeting, we can set aside, let's say, 30, 40 minutes to gay work alone. And then we decide what we're going to do to throw it to how do we present it to the present council. council? Because that may be one where we just say, listen, you know, as a committee, we're coming to you with this one, like this is big. You need to, you need to look at this and this is a dollar amount. I know that we're supposed to be advising you, but because of the restrictions that 
can let it put in of itself, not allow for questions, etc. Although we can shut up. We're not looking, I mean, we could, for that type of money, we would be looking for a presentation, but again, you present to us, you're just going to present to the council anyway, so there's, I mean, I'm not comfortable with recommending that dollar amount, given all of the stipulations. well, stipulations, but all of the permutations of does it I mean, there's some questions regarding qualification service of people with the communities. If, you know, we can take a look at questions such as, you know, if it's just based on funding of employees alone that work in Wallingford, it would be fine. But if you're having 70, 80, 90 percent of the people are out of counters, I can't. I mean, there's too many things to go through. Yeah. And I know each of our illustrious counselors will have to participate in their own way, their own very special groups. Yeah, and I mean, it's just, it is, I mean, you really look at that application, there's a lot to it, and I don't know how much of it may actually be taken out by the fact that you may not meet the requirements. So I, I think when you get to that dollar amount, automatically, that should be kicking above our pay rate. Um, so may, let, let's, let's, let's figure out maybe the next meeting. We'll put, I'll put that as the last item on the agenda so that we can get through the other things and then we'll figure out what to do. So, so United Way. Yeah. Just go with it. Do we have the capability to compile applications? You know, it's it's funny that you ask. I, I, I think we can do, we can make the recommendation, whatever recommendation we want. And personally, this is one of those ones where if you orphan those two requests, it doesn't make sense. You put them together, and then really it's for the smaller requests like we see for right. the Church of Nazareth, because so it, it's kind of it's 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 the, come up in previous meetings with no um clear path of what we wanted to do with it or what we could do with it or what we were going to do with it. So going through it, I don't think that again I'm not, I'm not, for myself, I think the purpose, if this was another master's mana, but a different location down the street, servicing the same type of community members in just a different type of way, there would be no question about funding it in my mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. um, if we were able to combine the applications, seeing that the financials associated with the food pantry are in fact the United Ways, so do we do we make three motions? One to not take any further action. One to approve United Way as a separate or disproved, depending on what we decide. And then a third to approve it with the contingent that they are included together in the additional ten thousand dollars given to United Way for distribution for these guys, which they are doing anyway. Yeah, yeah, because I mean you think of it the, the glow is basically a sub grantee of United, United Way. Way, and therefore the parent really should right. be awarded the money and and therefore from a financial standpoint too, they control, you know, sort of like a what I what I'm used to dealing with in my professional life is community block grant program. Yeah. Housing authority under federal law cannot receive funds. The local unit of government can receive funds. So therefore, we take the money but disperse it to them. They do all the activities. They report back to us. So I think that's the okay. that's the right way to go about this. So maybe we want to then make a motion first regarding the Church of Nazareth request, mm -hmm. and then we can go back to it as we look at the United Way. I guess the question, although we're not going to, it's Raj's signature on the application. He is not an officer or a member of the United Way as much as I can ascertain. Mm -hmm. So the application in and of itself. I 
we were not going to score any more. But if we could forget about the scoring and just. I'm having a problem with the motion. Consists that we take no further recommendation. No, we just take no further recommendation on the application for the Church of the Nazarene Globe Food Pantry application. Period. Then, does that make sense? Then we decide on United Way. And if the decision is yes, then we ask, we suggest to the council they combine the application for the food pantry with the United Way's application and consider them both as one because of the financials and the other pieces. Or we find something in the United Way's application that we can take under and offer, which is not, which is, uh, that's, that's not it. No, no. You no, so I mean the combination. I mean, I, well, you know, so we look. Are we all in agreement that the both should be funded? Let's, yeah. Let's, yes. Let's, yes. That's let's, that's let's, an easy. Let's, let's put that one right. aside. So let's make a motion that they should both be funded. That we recommend both of them, both of the applications. No, that both the Church of. How about that the Glow Food Pantries request be combined with the United Ways request that that the Glow's request yes uh, ten thousand dollars five ten five be combined with the United Ways request it was ten thousand. Go five. back. Go back to. I want to ten five. Ten five. Combined with United Ways request of two twenty nine twenty nine nine forty two for a total of. Two hundred and thirty nine, two hundred thirty one thousand, thirty nine, right? Is it two twenty? No, it's five hundred. It's ten. Oh God! Oh, okay. It's two hundred and thirty thousand four hundred and forty two. Two hundred and thirty four forty two. Jackie, there. <laughs> she just nodded. We're good. Um, is that is is that I enough, know. or did Janice throw it back? Why don't we just add in one thing due to the fact that the United Way is the fiscal sponsorship for it's Glow under the umbrella of Glow? I mean, it's 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 clear on their application. Right. These two. The fact that Glow. I think we should do sponsor as as. As a fiscal sponsor in the United Way and had provided their financials. Motion code request of 10,500 be combined with the annuals. Two ten nine nine thirty two for a total of two hundred and thirty thousand four forty three due to the fact that Glow has a financial sponsor in the United and had provided their financials for consideration. Legally, we don't know if this is going to get. This may get tossed back. Not. Maria, Raj. Raj is the one who's going to be caught in the middle on this one. But Maria, and this is also, like Chris said earlier, if we, if our peers allowed us to have interactions, we, we could have had this conversation with all the parties. So, like, can the United Way take the funding and give it to Glow? Yeah. Like, amend your application, add the 10 grand, and go out the door. So, um, 
I mean, the whole so application wanted... says that it's under United Way. So <laughs> Janice is going to see that United Way, right? So but hopefully we can. No disrespect, Love Raj, et cetera. Who is he to the. To the oh, way? I agree. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not signatory. Right. That's why I say deny this application and combine it. And to me, I believe that when Janice so you know, sees it, make a motion to combine to deny. Yeah. Recommend Hello. no further action. Yeah, don't recommend no further action on glow as a stand alone. Yeah, it's not its own separate separate entity. As a, make uh, make a motion to recommend no further oh, no. action. Check your math on the total. What, 234 42. No. 229 is what she requested. And then we had another 229 942, 942 plus 10,500. Oh, 240. Yeah. I was just looking at going, I think it's a little over. That's Paparazzi Joe. I share. So we make a motion. So I'm just draft. Make a motion to recommend no further action on the Globe Food Pantry application or to the and as a as a standalone application. Make a motion to recommend no further action on Church of the Maryland Globe Food Pantry request as a standalone application. Okay, we'll keep it as simple as that. Yes. So I'd like to make a motion that we recommend no further action on the Wallingford Church of the Nazarene's Glow Food Pantry application as a standalone application. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So then, in fairness to the record, we probably should score this. Have a score sheet to show that it's oh actually you know what let's just make the motion to approve it. it's obvious yeah it meets the criteria we don't have we're not going to debate that okay how about if we score it in conjunction with united way and keep it in that pile sure because that way it has a score we're approving it because it definitely served a need it's the whole you know basis of arpa They've had many people for the past couple of years and they continue to. So, and it falls under the umbrella of our of United Way. So yeah, I think we should guess, continue to score it under United Way separately though. Okay. Are you looking for something? Um, we help? 7.30. ARPA? ARPA? Yes, we're here. Who are you with? Long Church Meeting Team. We actually you already acted on your application and approved it. Mary Ellen just left. Yeah, Mary Ellen. did, it. yes. Sorry, we're early. We're late. <laughs> so you should have missed everything. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay. Thank you. We'll validate, we, we, we will validate your parking card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have a good one. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. -bye. Uh huh? <laughs> You're right. All right, so, so let's so, score it. Put, how about if we put, put, put Glow and then in parentheses United Way and score it and hand it in with both applications what, together? Who cares about the score? I go with Chris on this one. Okay. Because we're not. We're, I mean, okay. I, I, okay. I'll give it a fifth. What is it? Who, what does that mean? We're not going to recommend it. We did it backwards, but it's not because if we scored it, if we scored it as a standalone. We know we would never get to scoring because the application is not the fact. right. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. So a standalone, we would deny. However, in conjunction with the United Way, we would approve. Right. So now the question is: Should, should we make right, two motions and they choose which one to pick? Yeah, we could, you know, do we kill, not kill? Do we delay the United Way's receipt of the two hundred twenty-nine thousand? By combining it, and do we have to take it up next Tuesday, or does the time compression mean nothing because of the 
council won't even see who is going to be one of these. Yes, so, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Second. All right, so let's combine them. So I would like to make a motion that we approve the application of the United Way of Maryland in the amount of 220, sorry, I'd like to make a motion to recommend to the town council that we approve the United Way of Meriden and Wallingford Inc.'s request for $229,943 in addition to would like to make a motion to combine. Maybe. Do we do it that way? Can let's we... let's do this just so we don't get Maria tied up. I don't the United Way's application is solid application, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're all gonna agree grant full. So I'll make a motion that we grant about that we approve glows if it's considered as part contingent. of contingent. Yeah. Maybe that that's the way to handle it. It's not it's 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 going to be messy regardless, but I'm trying to think of a way that we don't intertwine United Ways Way grant. with their underling. A motion to recommend that GROW be approved for funding by the town council if it was combined with the United Way request. Second that motion right there for the amount of $10,500. A second, second that motion. Oh, oh, okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we'll get into the United Way. So now let's score the United Way. Yep. Just to take a stab, very thorough application provides necessary services, um, the social services to um, uh, to people ready to enter, re-enter workforce, allow them to uh, uh, to fine tune their employment eligibility and success rates um, uh, for work. Um, there are um uh, there is detailed enough information regarding the funding request the headcount that will be specifically dedicated to the serving Wallingford community and the committee thank you for that um you know just so that we have a proportion of here's the money and the group they clearly outline what they receive from Meriden as part of their piece and those allocations mm -hmm. and the Wallingford allocations. So um, I think it's a great application. I think we're um, a very deserving organization. Okay. Yeah, and I think it's easy to say that the, the programs provided clearly align with the goals and objectives of the ARPA program. Mm -hmm. And and like you said, they did a great the job of, of demonstrating that they serve the community. Oh man, I feel bad. 100, 190, 95. 95 or 90? Really it doesn't matter. 95. Is it really? 98.3. So I'd like to make the motion to approve the United Bear of Mary and Wallingford's application to approve the request to the town council. Uh, to approve the United Way of Meriden Wallingford Inc.'s application in the amount of $229,942. Aye. Second. <laughs> I'm still doing that. <laughs> all right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. And so we already talked about next Tuesday. So we're going to... So you're you're going to be in D.C.? Um, in no. The week after. The week after. Okay. So we'll be most likely here. I'll confirm with 
the mayor's office tomorrow to make sure that this room is available. Um, if not, uh, either hubcap or I well, have to keep hubcap in case the public comes. And we'll... so I just I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're if if we are complete enough. So can we just review the sequence here for United Way and the food pantry? So we have um, a recommendation to take no further action on on the food pantry or the standalone. Mm -hmm. We would consider it for funding if it was combined with the United Way second motion. Was it right? Mm -hmm. And then the third motion was to approve the United Way's funding request for that for that amount anyway, and that's just the ten thousand that's in limbo that would be approved, considered as part of something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's my report tomorrow when I send it off to Janice. We'll, I'll just go down and tell her. Sorry, it's too complicated. Not so much. No. Not for us. Yeah. All right. Um, so Gaylord, we are. Are we still going to review it? Or we I make just a motion to, to say. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, we are adjourned at seven thirty-one. So, so, hold on. Let me just. Hey, how are you? How are you? I've seen you three times. I'm nice. <laughs>